Dorn has come towards that ball. There was some puddles there. It's collected on the bounce and then from Ross Ainley. First tackle called of high from the White Seven fans. Completely fair. Hit him shoulder first. Newton in there at dummy half. Then going to go right to Connor Holiday. Holiday's going to look at just keeping his legs going. Done well there, Connor, because met some Swinton, uh, Swinton defenders quite soon after and been able to get a, quite a few good post contact metres. Played the ball sort of 22 out, comes inside then to Lucas Castle. Castle's going to, going to be the man that's wrapped up, taken down. Newton waiting there at dummy half, looking for the fast play of the ball. Don't imagine you'll see too many of them this afternoon. Ryan King is going to be the man put down on his back, takes three Swinton Lions defenders to do so in centre field, just short of the 40. Newton's elected to scoot, initially one looked like to go right into the hands of Lucas Castle, but taken down himself there was. Uh, was Newton's going to be five and last Mason lining weight at dummy half it's going to go right into the hands of Jamie Dorden it's going to be an end over end going towards Dan Abram and he's got plenty of time to set himself there did Dan he's going to collect it on the full and now fetching it forward met there by Ross Ainley and good uh, as long side was it Ryan King uh, Connor Holiday in there as well good work from the White Haven defence yeah it's a good first effort White Haven Jordan completely the set and got a field with a good kick and chase from, from Jamie Dorden and they've, they've trapped Dan in his own 20 there so it's up to Swinton to get out of their half now and looking to do so here are uh, Swinton looking to fetch the ball forward it's uh, into the hands of Jaden Hatton who's going to be taken down just short of his own 40 going to come across then to Lewis Hall Hall's going to be met there Castle's involved Newton's involved Jamie Doran involved there as well he's taken down just short of halfway he's going to, Eves is going to come right and then comes across then into the hands of the young man Noah Stevens who's got himself through here as Stevens Carter's on the chase he's one-on-one -on -one with Jake Mason nearly got past Mason there so the couple of tackles left in this set but Twinton are 10 metres out actually only five and last now Eves is going to come right into the hands of Gibson one ball over the right and we're only what we're less than two minutes in to the championship season here at the Otis Rec and Whitehaven fire themselves four points down already all come from the good offload and Noah Stevens just able to go down the middle there he was taken down but Whitehaven's defence not able to recover score and on this right hand side what less than three minutes gone Haven nil Lions four yeah Jordan that was just uh, simple rugby from Swinton uh, Mikey Wood carried little little tip on No Stevens good line through the middle he burst, burst bumped on him and carrying off gone through Jake Carter and Mason have managed to drag him down but great pass from uh, jo I think it was Jordan Gibson to uh, uh, I can't, did J Andrew Badrock and he's gone into the post you know Rio and, and I think it was Will Evans on this side were left exposed but that was great, great set from Swinton made. they've just done the simple things and uh, a great great little tip on from uh, Mikey Wood it's all what Chanty said in the, in the sort of build up they, they just do the basics very well only seeing that just able to get the slight offload Stevens making sure that he, what, his man wasn't going alone he wasn't going as a single runner there was two runners going there giving him the option being able to utilise the option and it's got them the four pointer yeah it's, it's simple rugby you taught you something rugby Jordan always go with your man don't go in singles and you know, I, sometimes White do go in singles and that'll kill Johnny because that's what he wants White to do, stuff like that. Running twos and then you've got you've always you've got your defence unsure what's gonna happen, how they're gonna tip on, how they're gonna carry. And he had the man out the back as well. It was it was good play from Swinton May, you know, nice try and on well done. Not the start that White will have been wanting, not the start that obviously John T. Gawley will have been wanting. Less than three and a half minutes on the clock here in Whitehaven, and it's here for nil. Lions six Carter with the kickoff just going to look to hold up slightly Ablam's going to come forward to it but does get there on the full pass it inside and his teammate there is going to be taken down can't quite tell just who it is from here but sort of 20 metres out Eves lies in wait at dummy half going to go down that short side then to Gavin Rodden Rodden's going to be the man that's uh, stopped 30 metres out Eves comes back inside from dummy half gets the pass away and Swinton are wrapped up there, so what, 35, 36 metres out, it's Jaden Hatton. Eves then comes in and then gets across to Noah Stevens, the man who made the break off that Mikey Wood offload. And three white seven defenders round him, but strong enough there to stay on his feet. There was Stevens, just short of halfway. He's going to go left into the hands then of Jack Stevens. Stevens is going to look to put the kick towards the corner. The chase is on. The ball is going to find touch. Good game management there. Even in the early stages, known they're happy to find touch and make White Devon come 90 metres. That's it, Jordan. Again, back of the back of the try, complete the set, put a kick into touch, and now they'll try and force the header out of White Devon in this half. Great carry again from Noah Stevens. You know, I know he's he's very highly rated at St Helens. I think he's been in there in and around the first team he's got a squad number he's done the pre-season with them so and you can see why after his, his first open five minutes so Whitehaven bringing this ball forward now of course it's to play the ball these days a handover rather than a scrum so T is the man stopped first of all then into the hands now with Joey Romeo's coming off the wing to help his uh, forwards out in this early stage he's still just short of five minutes gone here at the uh, Otis wreck but Whitehaven 5-0 down uh, sorry 6-0 down 
Jake Mason is the man wrapped up two Swinton Lions defenders fetch him down sort of 37 metres away from his own line Ross Ainley's now going to be man to take his ball forward in centre field but taken down only just over the 40 Newton lining weight the dummy half then comes across to Owen McCadden now McCadden runs hard and he's taken down just over the halfway of these five and last Newton lining weight the dummy half going to go right into the feet of Jack Carter Carter's going to put the kick in and it's going to go you know it looks like uh, Reese Williams had slightly overrun that but was able to adjust himself early enough there was Reese Williams and, and collected it on the fold did the Welsh international yeah a very experienced player obviously Reese Williams had a spell here uh, late 2000s did he on Joe Red from uh, Warrington Reese Williams you know a very experienced super leaving and scores long distance tries as we know I'll be very surprised if he gets one today man yeah, especially in the conditions, like you said, the pitch is already cutting up here. We're less than six minutes in, it was really cut up after the warm-up, but Swinton are fetching the ball down that left-hand side through. Gavin Rodden is going to be taken down five metres into Whitehaven territory, then coming across to, to Stevens, who gets it across to Lewis Hall. Sort of like an extra pivot. Played a lot of his game at six, especially at, at Barrow, when he was obviously more commonly known as Lewis Charnock. But um, it is now the five and last. It's going to go left to Stevens. A lot going through Stevens in the early going for the Swinton playmaker. And it's going to be collected on the fall by uh, Joey Romeo and just sort of slipped by playing that ball. But Stevens just maybe seemed to think he, he was dropping the ball because he just left him alone. He was able to get up and make another five or six metres. Yeah, it looked like Joey was trying to put the pass into Jake and he, he slipped in that puddle, hasn't he? So, yeah, and again, another good set from Swinton. Um, just completing and might even completing their sets, Jordan. He's been out of free so far for both sides. Ball in the hands now of Mason. Mason trying to fetch it forward, but net there, there by Hall and Cox. Playing this, what, 27 metres away from his own line. Ball in the hands now with King. King just looking to, to run it forward. But he's put down onto his back. Three Swinton Lions defenders it took there. It's then going to be into the. Of, uh, it was in the hands of Ross Ainley who puts it out the back to Owen McCann McCann's going to be taken down it is the five and last Whitehaven potentially going to be looking for an overlap but Jake Carter puts the kick in out on the fall there from Jake Carter just sort of sliced off his uh, left boot there from Jake Carter and it's going to be the, it was a turnover ball exactly on halfway for Swinton yeah just unfortunate there for Jake it's just come off the edge of his boot but Owen McCann great kind of quick play of the ball Swinton with backtracking there Whitehaven probably could have played a bit there you know what I mean just didn't play their eyes up and unfortunately Jake put it out on full so Bad Rock's going to scoot from dummy half and met them by a trio of Whitehaven defenders who have pushed him back beyond the halfway. Good defence there from Whitehaven, McCarran, Castle and Newton all involved. He's going to play this now in centre field. Eve's going to come right to Hall. Hall's going to look to shape and throw the dummy but not going to fool anyone in that Whitehaven defence. McCarran, Castle and Carter all involved. Eve's in a dummy half, going to go left into the hands of Stevens. Takes it to the line then out the back couple of pairs of hands again and into the hands of Jaden Hatton Hatton's going to be taken down eventually at the second attempt it's actually going to be a one-on-one -on -one strip so it's uh, Jamie Dolan that was able to rip it there so good work from the Whitehaven halfback and it's now with Joey Romeo fetching this ball forward for Whitehaven's second tackle 15 short at halfway first penalty of the afternoon in Whitehaven's favour I and mean, see it's probably going to be a relieving penalty because like you said while both sides were competing while they're competing neither of them's getting anywhere near the opposing red zone yeah that's right John like great work from uh, from Jamie Dorn there great one-on-one -on -one strip on Jaden that new he's put a lot of size on since I last seen Jaden last year he's he's bulked up a lot and yeah it's been a good opening set really John a tough competition great it's, uh, it's going to be a tough one for the rest for the rest of the game. Evans takes the top. White Evans starting 40 metres out from the Swinton line. Good hit on there on Connor Holiday, but he's uh, taken down. But Newton be able to scoop from dummy half and made what sort of nearly 15 metres there is James Newton so well done to him Whitehaven 20 metres out now Will Evans in a dummy half going to come in across to Jamie Dorn and runs it across the line just to pop up ball to Lucas Castle taken down just to the right hand side of the post sort of 15 metres out here Newton's going to come into centre field to King King then out the back to Carter Carter then into the hands of Jake Mason but Andrew Bradrock knew exactly where that was going and was able to wrap up the Italian international White Seven, 10 metres out now just to the left hand side of the post Carter in there at dummy half comes back in the middle to King King throws the dummy and takes the line on himself there 5 metres out now at White Seven, in line with the chocolate blue and gold dots as it is on the sticks Carter with a little kick in. It's going to, can it be fall there? Oh, it come off a Swinton man, and it's going to be Matty Crimes. It's going to have to knock it dead. Otherwise, it seemed to be Owen McCadden there that was seemed to be free to be able to pick that up. But with just short of 10 minutes gone here, it's Whitehaven being able to force the goal line dropout. Yeah, on that set there, Jordan, instead of hitting Mays at the back, I think Jake Carter could hit Owen through the front. But 
a nice player then, he just, he just couldn't dive on it. He, he was a great kick from Jake Carter and obviously it held up on this on this muddy surface. <coughs> goal line dropout, that's a good goal line dropout in these conditions. It hasn't bounced to the halfway line, it's bounced then across towards Ross Ailing. Ailing's going to fetch it forward. And I think Lewis Hall's gone in with a the shoulder there. That would, didn't attempt to wrap, didn't attempt to use his arms. That should have been a shoulder charge and a penalty to Whitehaven. You could hear a couple of the calls around us, the Whitehaven fans calling for that. But meanwhile, now Owen McCarron is the man to fetch his ball forward for Whitehaven, taken down just over halfway. Ten in from this grandstand touchline. Newton in there at dummy half, comes across to Carter, pop up ball back inside to Lucas Castle. Castle's taken down exactly 20 metres out, just to the left-hand side of the post, attacking the Kells end. Newton back into the middle with King. King out the back of Doran, then into the hands of Jake Mason. Mason then finds Evans. Evans is going to step up and take, try and take a man on. Gets the ball out to Joby Romeo on that right-hand side. Romeo does well to stay in the field of play, but he's taken down. So it's seven metres out, right on that popular side touchline. Ball coming back inside now. A couple of pairs of hands before finding Ryan King. King's going to be taken down. It is the five and last. Right hand side of the Porsche. You feel a repeat set minimum is needed here. Newton is going to go right into the hands of Doran. Doran puts the kick in. Is that going to be calls for offside? But that looks referee Brand Milligan happy for to wave it away as so Swinton man's dived on it. It was Josh Eves that dived on it. And it's going to be Swinton to fetch his ball forward now. But they'll have some work to do. Yeah, I think Lewis Hall was very, very lucky there, John. It was a definite shoulder charge. Uh, but again, I feel sorry for Brad in the middle. He's, he's got no help from his touch judges. You know, Brad's trying to watch other stuff and he's too traditional to watch them sort of incidents so fetching the ball forward now with uh, Matty Crimes it's going to be taken down 20 metres out still a couple of tackles left in this set Swinton man's going to be taken down it will be uh, Gavin Rodden on that side going to lose the five and last then going to cross now not pressure going to be put on there by Owen McCarron and it's going to be dived on well it looked to be dived on by Ross Ainley and it's knocked it on there and it's going to be back to zero and it's being picked up by the Swinton man I can't quite tell who it is from here but he's went sort of 40 metres untouched there before being taken down it's the halfback Jordan Gibson then into the hands now with Lewis Hall and it's going to be Hall that's taken down but they're now less than 30 metres out here to Swinton just trying to get a roll on her following that break Mikey Wood is then going to be the man taken down with Word and starting to prop this afternoon 13 on his back he then goes back into centre field with Stephen Stevens looks to throw the dummy going to be taken down there and it's a penalty here as James Newton looks to I think judged to have taken the man over the horizontal and you'd imagine it's going to be an easy two points to Swinton especially in these conditions yeah I think they're harsh calls Jordan there was one on, on Friday night on Super League where they say he's gone over the horizontal he has his legs have gone up in the air he's in a dangerous position he's not being put down his head I've got no issues with them sort of tackles I would tell as if it was on a white even player as well but Maury McCarron come with a great play with the charge down from the kick on Gibson and it's just the pitch and the weather's got the best of Ross Henley it's just spill three and they've, they've broke through so and um, they just couldn't capitalise on it since they've got that in his game as well, we've seen that throughout the, the sort of the pre-season, the 1895 and the Challenge Cup, he's certainly got that in his game and if they can utilise it on maybe some slightly drier pitches, it could well be an asset throughout the season. Yeah, it could, you know, it's, it's them little 1% one, one as the Johnny goes on about. I know last year we had uh, Lock and Lansky, who was very good at it as well, his 1% is it seems to be the, the Australian back rowers are, are good at kick pressure and applying that sort of pressure on, on, the, on the kickers. Just a stoppage in play here is the Swinton man, it's uh, Jack Stevens needing some treatment. Uh, Swinton physio of course uh, recognise her Rachel she's uh, spent uh, a couple of seasons up here at Whitehaven herself before um, before making the move to Swinton in, in being part of their backroom staff now and uh, it's going to be time back on and it looks like yeah, Dan Abram's going to have ball in hand and as we expected and suspected it's going to be uh, going for goal here uh, just while we're waiting for, for Dan Abram to line this up we'll bring you some scores from elsewhere in the Super League it's London nil, Waddington 18 Waddington going around about a point a minute there Batley find themselves 12-0 up at home against the uh, against Feverston Jewsbury took an early lead at home against Halifax that's 4-0 and the only other score in the championship is Widnes nil, Barrow 2 an early penalty goal there for the Raiders it's still Doncaster nil, York nil. Walden find themselves 6 0 up at away to Workington as Dan Abram is able to knock that two over to make it Haven nil, Lions 8 here, and it is still Midland 16, Rochdale 22. Yeah, you mentioned Ashley, it's all about the one percenters, and that's a great effort, for obviously, from um, from Owen McCarron. Obviously, the break there from obviously afterwards, Johnny Warner being happy that he seemed to take his defenders maybe just an extra second or two to react compared to compared to the Swinton defence. Yeah, like I said, the, the lads have probably thought that Ross has got that in his hands and next minute it's on the deck and, and Swinton it away. You know, he, yeah, I know he won't be happy as we both know, but he, he can't be too harsh on Ross or Owen because they've done it, they've tried the best and you know, Owen's come with a good play, it's just been unfortunate that the ball's spilled free. 
So Swinton now fetching this ball forward from the kickoff. 14 minutes gone here at the Autis Rec, BBC Radio Cumbria Sport Online. It's going to be a penalty again to Swinton. So it's going to be for the uh, arm in on the tackle. See it being really cleaned up the rock this season and even in these still these early stages of, of what's obviously now the league season but obviously throughout pre-season we've seen sides penalised uh, Ash for it and some still not quite getting the message yeah just silly play that that will annoy John you know whereas I think the win one won't that will because that's just lazy and, and shortcutting and taking shortcuts you know that's what we're trying to do trying to shortcut our way out to try and get the ball or, or force an error so Swinton taking the tap and they're going to play this ball over halfway it's Gavin Rodden to play it he was looking to try and catch the markers not square but able to make sort of 10 metres himself there before being taken down the former St. Helens and White ex White Haven man of course there as well ball inside to Noah Stevens, the man who's on Jill Edge from St. Helens he's taken down what 28 metres out in line with the left hand side port attacking the railway end in this first half Ah, Swinton Lewis Hall then comes across couple of pairs of hands into the hands of Abram then Bad Rock Bad Rock's going to be wrapped up there Corkill and Carter both involved but sort of 17 metres out now Ah, uh, Swinton attacking the White Haven line Sir Mikey Wood he's now the five and last 10 metres out right in line of the post Eve's going to come to look to scoot going to look to put a little kick in and it's gone left it's gone right it's been knocked dead I think it come off he took a bounce he come then off the boot of Jake Mason who kicked it towards Curtis T and T was like I don't want anything to do with this and they just knocked it backwards goal line drop out forced yeah Sweet will be happy with that set John uh you know, a penalty and, and the forced uh, dropout, so another set of six. Uh, Lucas Castle looks like he's struggling with, uh, he's blowing there with his heavy field, he's, he's dropping off tackles, so we might see an interchange soon. No one sort of uh, warming up that minute for Johnny Gawley's side. Jay Carter with a dropout, and in them con these conditions, that's not a bad dropout. It's gone sort of 35 metres before being collected by Swinton Eid. It's come back inside to Noah Stevens, met there by Ross Ainley, King, and then James Newton involved there as well, but Swinton starting this set less than 30 metres out once again quite close to the 20 Eves then comes across to Gibson Gibson then gets it across to Mikey Wood Wood's going to be wrapped up sort of 20 yeah 20 metres out lining right hand side of the post going to come right into the hands of Lewis Hall Hall steps back inside Castle McCarran and King all involved the Aussie Australian trio 12 metres out just to the right hand side of the post Eve's going to go left into the hands of Stevens out the back to Gibson then on just a little crash ball can the man get over it Gavin Rodden he's going to be taken down only metre short if that Eve's then going to come right comes off the hands Stevens to Gibson goes backwards Hall Mitch Cox is looking to come back inside met there by McCarran Carter Cox has he got over fetch down just short says referee Brad Milligan oh, on his short door it is the five and last Eve's there to dummy half gonna look, put a little kick in, has gone behind, it's gonna be collected by Rio Cork. He'll cork will do well to get out, and he hasn't done. Second consecutive goal line drop out force there by Swinton and putting the pressure on Whitehaven at the moment. 17, just up under 17 and a half minutes gone. Yeah, Whitehaven's defended nearly 18 tackles here, John. You know, you can't keep doing this. They've got to try and force in these first two or three tackles because you know at some point he's gonna break, you know, the bridge is gonna break and it's just gonna try and force his area, whether it's from the dropout or a, or a good shot from somebody. So Jake Carter got ball in hand, looking to go for the dropout once again. Dropout, not the best uh, of ones on this occasion. He's going to go along the floor more, but he's collected in front of the 30, then comes across to Stevens once again. I think Connor Holiday was looking to try and force that header there on Stevens, not able to, but good defence from himself and Jamie Doran both involved. Eves in a dummy half, comes across to Lewis Hall. Hall's going to bring it forward. King and Newton you can see there that, that there is that little bit more determination you can try to hit that arm and that ball playing arm see if you can force the header but Swinton able to keep hold of it at the moment Eves has come right into the hands of Gibson Gibson running across the line out the back to Dan Abram Abram throws a dummy I think Crimes might have been in if he got the ball to be fair but Abram keeps hold of you but Swinton knocking on the door once again Eves in there at a dummy half less than five metres out back into centre field now with Gibson then into Noah Stevens. there was a gap there which Stevens nearly was able to take advantage of Castle able to uh, recuperate Newton in there as well so was Ainley Eves is going to go left into the hands of Gibson then out the back it's going to put a little kick through there from Jack Stevens Jake Mason has to get there and it's going to be a third consecutive goal line dropout White Stevens defence holding strong at the moment but for how long can they hold out? Yeah like I said Jordan at some point the, the dam's going to break you know you can't keep defending like this you need to force that error um, like you say Connor looked like he was trying to do it so was Kingy it's got to be these first two or three tackles because you can't keep defending like this 
just about to tick over into the uh, into the 20th minute here at the Otis Rec BBC Radio Cumbria Sports Online Haven nil, Swinton 8 try from uh, Andrew Badrock and a penalty goal and a conversion from Dan Abram goal line drop out from Carter then it's going to be uh, Mikey Wood to fetch the ball forward on this occasion him and Noah Stevens swap positions out there on the field into the hand now of Hall Hall's going to look to bring it forward I didn't seem too interested in fetching that ball forward there Lewis Hall but didn't have many options on his right hand side but he's been taken down 15 metres out here centre field Eves is going to come right to Noah Stevens. got through a lot of work in the early going as a St. Uh, Helens man he's taken down less than 10 metres out right hand side of the post Eves is going to then go out the back to Gibson Gibson along then across into Stevens. Stevens is going to look to step back inside but he's been taken down there by King Castle helps him complete the tackle Guy Graham getting ready to come on here for Whitehaven just trying to put some reinforcements in the middle for Johnny's side ball back inside to Lewis Hall Castle's come from nowhere well done to him it is the five and last Whitehaven's got one more tackle to survive we'll be hoping not to force another repeat set here it's going to go on then it's oh he can't hold out who jumped out of the line it's Will Evans there and that's the gap there that they've been able to utilise Jaden Hatton on that left hand side Evans dove, uh, dove out there and that's exactly where the gap was for Hatton to go over it's Swinton's second try of the afternoon just over into the 23rd minute BBC Radio Cumbria Sport Online it's Haven nil, Swinton 12 yeah, Will didn't need to panic there. He, I think he just got, he just got um, caught in the headlights. He was absolutely no need to jump out. They were numbered up. They were going nowhere, really. I would have expected another kick coming there at some point. Or if he hadn't jumped out and that pass had come, he makes his one-on-one -on -one tackle and, and they get the ball back. But like I said, at some point, the dam will break when you defended 24 tackles on your line. Four consecutive sets that Whitehaven had tried to defend there and been able to do it for 23 out of them, 24 tackles. Just not able to keep that last one out. And it's now Haven nil, Swinton 12 and Dan Abram with a, you'd say, a mid, mid-ish uh, difficulty in looking to, to knock this over. But as we've seen from Dan Abram, he can pretty much kick him from anywhere. He's done it in a white Haven shirt before. He has, Jordan. He's gave us some good memories, hasn't he, at Derwent Park with, and down here against Workington. So I, I didn't remind Johnny that before kick-off, as obviously he was coaching there at the time. And, and everybody, so that was, you weren't winding him up, no, not at all. <clears> I said that was a downfall of Leon for him, really, wasn't it? no further comment no further comment Dan Abram is lining it up here he's going to come at it right footed just tickles just tickles that left hand side post and goes over there for Swinton it's Haven nil Lions 4 and that's a change you would expect and you mentioned it Guy Graham has been the man to replace uh, Lucas Castle sort of 22 minutes on the clock here it's Haven nil Lions 14 and you've uh, Haven are going to stay in this game, they're going to need to score Ashley, they're going to need it pretty sharpish. Yeah, they're going to have to try and force them off this set, Jordan, but Swinton will probably just do what they've been doing, just complete the set, kick and, and put us under pressure. Kick-off comes. Kick -off. Oh, he's going to be a good kick-off, coming in eventually into the hands of Reese Williams. Jack Stevens didn't know where that was going there initially, and they're going to have to try and uh, fetch this ball forward from deep. Wrapped up on the first tackle, 12, 13 metres out, Evans... Uh, yeah, Josh Evans goes down that. Josh Eves, where did I get Evans from? Goes down that left hand side. He's in a dummy half once again. Now he's there, he's Eves. And then Lewis Hall. Ainley and Guy Graham. You know it's Guy Graham because he's got the cleanest shirt on the field. Not for too much longer because he has just evoked that tackle there as, as Guy. And then uh, gone across then. A couple of pairs of hands before finding getting it out to Gavin Rodden. Rodden's then going to be wrapped up, put down onto his back. Just five shots of halfway. Eves in there at dummy half. Comes across to Lewis Hall. Hall back inside then to. Uh, Noah Stevens put down onto his front there. It is the five and last, exactly on halfway here. Eve's lining weight, the dummy half's going to come across to Gibson. Gibson's going to put the kick in, going end over end. Mazen able to set himself. No, he wasn't. It's gone behind there, Mazen, and he's slipped in that puddle. Finding it really tough going to Whitehaven at the moment. It's just little sort of issues like that, just to compound the, uh, it's obviously compound the lack of ball, the ball that they have had. Yeah, you can tell the wins with Swinton as well, John. But if you if you're Jonty, you're looking at the, the, how they're placing their kicks in the in the second half. You'd be doing the exact same thing, put it in that corner, and make them come out there with that puddle and that mud, and you know that's what I'd be looking at. So Whitehaven fetching the ball forward now through Rio Corkill. It's been taken down just short of his own 30 metre line, centre field. Ball in hands out with Curtis Tia trying to help his forwards out here. Good run from Curtis Tia. Just pushes Josh Eves off and made around about 12 metres there. Trying to get his find some momentum. Six again for uh, for White Seven. So exactly what they need for six again of the game. A couple of changes got to be made. George Roby and uh, Matthew Fletcher getting ready to come on for Alan Kilshaw's side. 
then going to be Guy Graham who's going to take Whitehaven over this halfway line the Whitehaven crowd behind is unhappy that Mitch St. Swinton are all offside but I noticed Brad's taking the back a big 10 so he's maybe saying you, you don't have to get exactly back with me as long as maybe one of them back feet are but Jamie Dolan's going to be the man that's wrapped up here then going to be into the hands of Ainley Ainley nearly gets past Lewis Hall there but taken down 20 metres out Whitehaven nearly really need to try and get on the uh, scoreboard soon King Carter Carter with the dummy and then looks to take the line on he's going to be the five and last well they were 10 metres out to the left hand side of the post Newton is going to come left end to Mears and Mears is going to put a little kick forward can Rio Cork he'll get there he can but it's going to be a goal line dropout good little kick there from Jake Mears and just held up enough and it was Dan Abram that come from nowhere just to dive on that ball and he's conceded the goal line dropout yeah I don't think that was the, the player that uh, when you look at Jamie Dorden he was screaming for it but you know and Mears has put a nice kick in the, and they forced the goal line which is what they need to do but Sweeten these two changes, two very good changes to bring in here, Fletcher and Roby. Though Roby's very good around the rook and Fletcher's a good forward, Jordan, he's really good. Uh, I like the look of him when he was at North Wales and I watched him at work it last year. Uh, last year, yeah. The goal line dropout is going to be uh, taken here. Jamie Doran traps it and then it's going to be collected and takes it on himself there, looks for his forwards. His forwards were a little bit too deep to try and help him out, so fetches the ball forward, does the white half halfback. Romeo in at dummy half, then going to come across to. Uh, See Connor Holiday. Holiday's going to look to take the ball. They're trying to get Dion on during the set here to Whitehaven. It's been a late call, it seems there. Guy Graham looking for the high shot. Just put his head back there. And last season that wouldn't have been a, a penalty, but these days it is. And Dion going to come on the field to replace, looking to replace Ross Ainley. It's like I said, the uh, fourth official is. Uh, down doing the uh, Swinton interchange. They're not going to call him back, but Dion has gone onto the field taking the tap here of Whitehaven six again Newton looked to try and dive over from dummy half don't think that's the option I can tell you're thinking that actually you're just a little shake of the head there but Newton trying to get out there to tackle it's going to come left into the hands of Jay Carter Carter looks to throw the dummy on probably should the ball should have come left on that occasion once again two wrong decisions you feel from Whitehaven there but Newton lining weight to dummy half going to come right into the hands of King then it's Dion Ed who's going to look to fetch his ball forward on his 200th career appearance here he's the Papua New Guinean just taken down right hand side of the post what three four meters out Newton comes left into the hands of Carter back inside then to Jake Mason Mason runs that's going to be obstruction should be obstruction as Newton just been able to get out the way in time he has but his Mason's taken down only a meter out just under the uh, under the sticks here King King takes it on the line on himself has he got that ball down as Ryan King no he's not he's touched down just short it is the five and last going right into the hands of Jamie Doran Doran puts the kick in not the decision that Whitehaven needed good reactions there from from Jack Stevens, and not able to turn the screw any further there to Whitehaven but Swinton's going to have some work to do to fetch his ball out yeah great defence from Swinton there Jordan really good defence but Whitehaven threw some good shape at them there but like you said just a couple of dumb decisions you know Newton doesn't need to scoot out a dummy half and, and Jake should let the ball go because we had a three on two Whitehaven defence trying to put the pressure on here good work from James Newton I know when McCarran four coming from marker just feel they, they know with round about 12 and a half minutes to go in the first half they really do need something from this next couple of sets this next five minutes or so and the defence is on top here at the moment is the five and last in Swinton not beyond their own 20 trying to put the pressure on it's a good kick though and it's spiralling all over the place and it's eventually going to find touch it's, it hits a 20-40 it's a 20 -40 it is a 20-40 it's going to be a tap here to Swinton it's going to be a it, Brad, but yeah it's a 20-40 I mean the, the Matty Crimes and such a couple of players that, that's for it and it's gone from being a fantastic defensive set from Whitehaven and, and maybe just the players maybe being in game mode not realising that the role is obviously in place now and overall it's a fantastic play from the Swinton Lions Joey Romeo has just had an absolute dogging off Jamie Doran but I feel for Joey there because clearly nobody's told him they were inside their own 20 you know he's back there Mason or Curtis somebody should have been telling him they've kicked from the 40 no, you can't lay the blame on Joey there he's got to have some help from somewhere so from being pinned in their own 20 Swinton and now in Whitehaven's 20 Daniel Spencer Tonks who's fresh onto the field he's been taken down by Guy Graham King helps him complete the tackle Swinton 10 metres out here Roby's going to go left into the hands of Jordan Gibson comes out the back to Steven Stevens looks to step back inside it's really wet in that corner and he just uh, finds the deck there to Stevens. Dionair helped him complete the tackle George Roby looking to come from dummy half he's now 
realise there was nothing on and just sort of volunteers and takes the tackle. It is the five and last. Whitehaven really needs to keep the lines out here. It's going to go left. Stevens going to put the little kick in. It's going to be collected there by Jamie Doran. Gets around Stevens. Gets around Lewis Hall. Look, putting the run in there is Jamie Doran. And looks to put you shape to put the ball over the top. But even though when you're doing it ten metres out, that you know that tackle shouldn't be coming. Carter. Then it stands now with Rio Corkill. Corkill's going to be the man taken down. 20 metres out from his own line. Penalty to Whitehaven. Yeah, I think Brad realised he got the call wrong. Spencer Tonk should have been penalised for the back to six for pushing Jamie down there. It's hands on it. It's against the it's against the rules now. You can't do it. And he's pinged Swinton there probably for nothing to get back for that back to six. Just short of the half hour mark here at the Otters wreck. As Carter puts the ball into touch, only makes it sort of around about 15 metres or so here. As uh, T is going to take the tap. You can, you can hear the slap on the effects, Mike. They're that close to us here now, but just shows you how wet and muddy it is out there at the moment. Tia plays the ball. Newton finds Carter, plays it along, then finds Guy Graham. Runs at Daniel Spencer Tonks. And that should be a flop once again, but referee Brad Milligan not interested in that one. Comes then across to Dion Air. Dion Air's going to look to be taken down. Takes three Swinton defenders to do so. Newton in there, it's going to go right into the hands of Ryan King. King looks to shape the dummy, and that should be a high shot. He's then eventually given initially shook his head there. The referee Brad Milligan, I wondered if he's had a call from his touch judges. But yeah, it was initially, uh, you could see just a little shake of the head from Brad, as in, I'm not going to give that from uh, from Brad Milligan from just down the road in Workington. But uh, yeah, it's eventually the penalty come for the high shot. Yeah, Alan Kilshaw won't be happy with that, John. That's just lazy from Gavin Rodden, you know. They've done a good defensive set there, put a few good shots in, and that's just lazy. It's a lazy arm, there's no need for it. Let the take the tap with White Haven, sort of what, 30 metres out. Guy Graham's done well there to make 10 metres. Newton, then into the hands of Carter. Carter then comes across to Dion Air. Dion Air runs at George Roby and nearly takes him within. That should be a six again. Spencer Tonks involved and shoves George Roby initially with the first defence. King then comes across to Jamie Doran, comes across then to uh, Connor Holiday. Ball probably should have been out the back to Will Evans for the two on one then comes across then into the hands of Jamie Doran finds Ryan King King runs at Daniel Spencer Tonks Roby involved there as well alongside Lewis Hall Whitehaven really needs something from this set comes across then to Jamie Doran Jay Carter Carter and onto Owen McCarron McCarron's going to be wrapped up there very well by Jordan Gibson it's the five and last five metres out left hand side of the post going to come down the short side Curtis T is looking going to battle his way over there is Curtis T can he get that ball down he's not he's going to be fetched down only a metre short and turn over ball he's not the worst place to turn the ball over in the world but Swinton's going to have to do the hard yards yeah why have you just need to deal up here Jordan and, and keep Swinton within this 10-20 metres zone they've got to put six good tackles and get the ball back as high up as they can uh, and try and get over the line uh, we're, team, we're targeting Spencer Tonks we seem to be going him but we're running right at him that, Daniel's good at defending straight up if you put footwork on him he struggles he really does struggle with footwork Swinton there going to be the second tackle not even well, just on their own 10 metres now similar to what it was when they were able to get the 20-40 a couple of minutes ago Swinton man's now in centre field 15 metres away Roby's in a dummy half going to come across then to, uh, to Gibson He's going to be wrapped up there over the 20. So we won't see a 20 40 on this occasion, but Roby's lining weight at dummy half. Going to go down that short side once again. They've done well to get as far as they have there to Swinton because they've made it to just short of the white uh, of their own 40. It is the five and last. Going to come back to uh, Jack Stevens. Stevens going to put the kick in for that kick. And it's probably the, uh, the first time the young man's done anything wrong all day. It's gone out on the full. And it's going to be a turnover ball here. Whitehaven starting this set 35 metres away from the Swinton line. Yeah, it's a, like you say, it's the first thing he's done wrong all day, Jordan. He, he, he's had a fairly good first half for his kicking game. That's just, again, it's just one of them that sliced off his boot and, he, and the wind behind him just took it straight out. So Whitehaven fetching this ball forward now. Dion Air. It's going to be the man that's taken down. Sort of 28 metres out. Newton in a way at dummy half. You can see he's getting frustrated with how slow that player the ball was. Guy Graham's the man now taken down. Going to go, trying to go right. Get it back into the hands of Guy Graham who's in there with Lewis Hall now he's taken down he's a Scottish international 12-13 metres out here to Whitehaven just to the left hand side of the post King then out the back to Jamie Doran just a little bit too late there you feel from Ryan King Jamie Doran trying to get away but can't Newton in there at dummy half coming left to Jake Carter then across to Mason. Mason then going to come 
fetch that ball forward shout to cross him but plenty of gap there for not to be obstructed with the Swinton players but it is the five and last Corkill's in there at dummy half going to come right to Carter Carter's going to put the little kick in it's come off the Swinton Lions man it's back to zero so he's now in the hands of Jake Mason Mason and he's going to be taken down but this is a fresh set of six for Whitehaven six minutes left to go in the first half Carter's looking to go down scoop from dummy half but they have got options here of Whitehaven they've got plenty of tackles in the bank now Carter's taken down two metres out Newton lying in weight of dummy half Dion Air is the man at first receiver comes then just a pop-up pass to Guy Graham trying to run then just Daniel Spencer Tonks he just didn't know whether to run at him what to do and eventually he didn't either there did Guy Graham goes right to Jake Carter comes in hands to Jamie Doran good run in there and it's going to be Connor Holiday on that right hand side oh, he's fetched down how is he taken down there Connor Holiday great defence from Swinton then comes across to Jake Carter Carter's going to be the man is he and he's going to be held up over the line no he's going to be held down short five and last once again there's eight as a space on this left hand side for Whitehaven they're going to look to go short and Ryan King has got his cell over there first try of the season and of course who does it come from it's Ryan King led forward to uh, lose forward missed the back end of last season did King but picked up where he slipped picked up uh, started last season King's over five minutes to go to half time Haven four Lions 14 yeah I think that's come back on a very very lucky call there Jordan because the kick from Carter has just bounced off Daniel Spencer yeah. Tonsi's yeah. leg. He hasn't played it at all, so it's a very harsh call on Swinton. Um, but like you say, they've played the set out. They had loads of space, as we've seen, but a, a quick, fast pass from Jake Mason from the deck, and Kingy's just run a great line and gone between two Swinton players. And that's what White even needed just before half time. But what they've got to do now is kick on from here, complete this next set, be header free, get a good kick in, and, and try and force another error from Swinton in this half. BBC Radio, Cumbria Sports Online. Whitehaven got themselves over for their first try in the league season and reduced the deficit to 10 points as it is at the moment and Jake Carter will hopefully be able to knock over this what is a fairly simple conversion but nothing is simple enough in these conditions with the sleepy conditions underfoot uh, we'll run through some scores elsewhere uh, looking into the Super League it's London 4 Warrington 24 in the Championship Batley 18 Featherston 0 Jewsbury 4 Halifax 6 Doncaster 12 York Knights 6 Widnes 16 Barrow 2 as Jake uh, Carter does add the extras so it's now Whitehaven 6 Swinton Lions 14 and then just dropping into League 1 a couple of full time scores Hunslet 48 Newcastle 12 full time Keefley 56 Cornwall 12 Midlands 22 Rochdale 34 that won't be too far from finishing that was a 2 o'clock kick off and down the road at Derwin Park Oldham have run right in the first half working to nil Oldham 30 and for those who are inclined might be listening to us having the football on in the background you might have noticed Scott McTominay's made it 1-0 to Man United just got a little notification I just thought I'd stretch it up actually ah uh, very good you know I'm a, my dad's a Liverpool fan so I won't say nothing to do with Man United but obviously um, some quite surprising scores there in the Championship Jordan Doncaster and York I didn't expect that and, and witness I expected Barrett to go there and win today to be honest with you that kick off from Swinton falls short bounces kindly into the hands then of Jake Carter but like you say it's uh, and that's going to be a penalty to, to Whitehaven it's going to be the second man in the, the, the flop as it would be and White Seven, that's their fifth penalty of the after the of the afternoon. Only conceded two to the Swinton Lions. And Carter will be looking to try and get a bit more meetings on this kick. They get him down around about 15 metres. Corkill's going to take the tap and take them over his own 40. Newton in weight at dummy half. Two and a half minutes to go as we make it till half time here. BBC Radio Cumbria Sports Online Owen McCarron maybe it's a good job he's got them bond locks because I tell you what I can't see the name or the number on his back Newton into the hands of Dion Air trying to get away from Spencer Tonks and Roby seem to have targeted them two since of Whitehaven since they've both come onto the field come right into the hands of King King was looking King was looking to challenge Daniel Spencer Tonks once again there but was stopped before he had an opportunity to get to him gone to the right hand side Jamie Doran looking to put the kick through and Dan Abram get there he can and it's going to be Joey Romeo to put the tackle in just sort of slid into that tackle there did Joey Romeo and I think you heard a couple of uh, calls from the Swinton fans maybe not 100% with that but it uh, means White 7 have got an opportunity to try and pin Swinton in that corner yeah he's slid in to try and challenge the ball Romeo there's no malicious intent in it he's slid in to challenge the ball Dan's got there first they've had a collision just get up and play on get on with it um, like you say, I think Owen McCarron's had a good first half, Jordan. Like you say, he's he's carry well, and we've seen, like you say, we do simply target and Spencer Tonks and Roby and trying to burn their energy. Look at Tonks now; he can't he can't get back to take a ball in. Um, we need to we need to do need to get at Roby though. He, he's very elusive out of dummy half. So we're looking to fetch the ball forward now. That'll be Matty Fletcher who's uh, onto the field, and he's, but he's taken down five and last. 
30 metres away from the own, their own line here at Swinton. Kick's going to come in. It's going to come in along the floor and settle nicely for Jake Mason. Just able to put his foot on it to com put it to a complete stop before picking it up there was the Italian international. Then going to look at running across the line there. Just looking for the gap. Gap never came. And he's taken down 28 metres away from his own line. Carter's in there at dummy half. Comes across then to Rio Corkill. Corkill's looking to go along, along that line once again. It's taken down maybe what, a metre or so over the 30. Newton, or jo Joey Romeo in there at... Uh, dummy half he's scooted and made what seven or eight meters so done well there he's exactly he's exactly on his own 40 here goes right into the hands then of will evans evans is going to be the man just to get over there yeah, exactly now just on halfway there fell over the line going to be a couple of tackles left in this set really really slow here newton comes then across to jamie doran runs it and then throws a little dummy Jake Carter then comes and throws the ball over the top to Corkill Corkill probably should have given it to Tia there for the one on one with Matty Crimes but elected to keep hold of himself it is now the five and last sort of 38 away from the Swinton line we make it 15 seconds to go going to go up to come down that short side put the kick in McCadden's going to try and get there ahead of Dan Abram but he can't and then going to be uh, Newton to be wrapped up there's a hooter so it is half time here at the Otters record is Whitehaven 6 Swinton Lions 14 Lions scored the opening 14 points back underway in the second half here Carter's kick off gets uh, I think a little bit of a slice on that and, and Whitehaven Whitehaven have something from a kickoff. there is a god Ashley Kilpatrick because Whitehaven some issues with kickoffs in the last few uh, last few months yeah especially that one at Derwent Park with Summit <laughs> oh, don't, don't remind me I think it was just uh, you, uh, you, you've probably heard the commentary back and he was just stunned it was like oh my oh my oh, well, I, I, like, it, it was just it was mm. but Whitehaven have the ball back from the kickoff here so it does mean that uh, Guy Graham now has ball in hand <coughs> if Whitehaven can get a try here in the opening minute or two similar to what Swinton got in the first half it really is game back on here Ryan King with ball in hand pops it back up to Dion Air 200 career appearance I'm sure he'd like to top it off with a try with the Papua New Guinea in just in line with the left hand side of the post Newton's going to come right into the hands end of Jamie Doran then he comes across to Connor Holiday. Holiday runs at George Roby a couple of us involved there trying to get his arm free there was Connor Holiday, but he's taken down just short Newton lining weight at dummy half there's going to be no option to scoot or dive over he's going to look to come left and then back into Dion Air goes back to where exactly where that ball came from thought he could maybe catch him out there did Dion Air but he's been taken down still to that right hand side of that post then going to go left now into the hands of Jamie Doran. Then comes across to Guy Graham. Graham's going to be the man that's taken down. It is the five and last. Newton, dummy half. It's going to go left. Carter over the top then to Curtis Tia. Tia couldn't just take. Just a bit too high there for Curtis Tia. And the ball's found touch. It's going to be a handover ball here on the 10 metre line. White even close, but no cigar. I think a little kick was needed there, Jordan, because he would have held up in the in goal. And Crimes was up in the line. So, but if on the about the third tackle, fourth tackle. Newton had Connor Holder on this stick with nobody in front of him and he didn't look. He could have picked up and passed it to Connor been in. So Swinton looking to fetch this ball forward. White Davis defence trying to push them back as it did towards the end of that first half. Ball's in the hand now with Spencer Tongs. And that's going to be a penalty. Using his shoulder there with no arms there. And we mentioned it in the first half that Lewis Hall had got away with one. Wayne King hasn't on that occasion. Yeah, that's, that's the annoying thing about it, isn't it? You, know, it's, you just want a bit of consistency. Brad's missed one in the first half and, he, and he's pinged us there, you know. And then George Robbie's rubbed on the road by getting another 10 metres with a tap. Because White Devon were lining up for the kick and not keeping an eye on what Swinton were actually doing, and Robbie took the tap. But Stevens in there at dummy half, comes across to Lewis Hall. Hall's then going to be uh, taken down there. Newton and Guy Graham, combination of. Plays it 35 metres away from his own line. And then that's going to be Gavin Rodden. Rodden's going to be on taken down. Roby lining weight at dummy half, then going to go across to Lewis Hall once again. Well, it was Matty Fletcher that fetched up on that last tackle actually and now then it is Lewis Hall now that's taken it down still short of halfway here says he's struggling here it is Lewis Hall so Conor Holiday is just oh he's really struggling there he's Lewis Hall but it's Conor Holiday kindly just a signal to the physio straight away that it was something right obviously felt or maybe heard something there of of, uh, of Lewis Hall's and we're going to have a stop each in play three minutes into the uh, into the second half yeah then Connor gave him a nice little gentle tap on the head uh, I, I didn't want to mention that but <laughs> as, you, as you mentioned it yes he did yeah it looks like it's his knee there. I don't know if he's fell awkwardly in the tackle or his foot's got stuck in the mud I don't know but it doesn't look good for him does it it doesn't no uh, well, meanwhile we'll see if there's any of his scores elsewhere it still remains London 4 Warrington 24 still half time at Mount Pleasant Batley 18 Feverston 6 Jewsbury 4 Halifax 6 Doncaster 12, York Knights 10. 
still half time at uh, Halton Stadium winning 16 but 8 dropping down into League 1 three of the four games are now full time Hunslet 48 Newcastle 12 Keighley 56 Cornwall 12 Midlands 28 Rochdale 38 and the only other game that was a free kick kickoff is down the road at Derwin Park working to nil Alden 30 all of them are going to take some stopping in League One this season, Ashley Kilpatrick. Yeah, they are, Job. We were speaking about it at half time. The, the money they've spent, the team they've put together, it is, it is probably a championship blowing Super League side. It's it's a very, very good side they've put together, and you know they're showing the class through at Workington today, and I think they'll, they'll put more teams to the sword rather than Workington. Back underway here is uh, Jack Stevens is going to put the kick in. Romeo's coming towards it, jumps high there, does well there, does Joey Romeo, but he's hit the second. His foot hits the ground and is wrapped up there by a couple of uh, Swinton defenders. Will Evans is now going to be the man to fetch his ball forward. 25 metres out from his own line. Mason in line in weight at dummy half. And then it's going to be into the hands now of Curtis Tia. Tia's going to be wrapped up. Centre field. Newton looking to scoot. Then into the hands of Dion Air. It's going to be taken down in centre field. Is a Papua New Guinean. Daniel Spencer Tonks is the man to take him down. Then into the hands now of Guy Graham. Lewis Hall is going to have to yeah, he's going to come off. They've got him. They're doing something which is normally a cardinal sin. They're making a change while in defence, but it just shows you how much Lewis Hall's been struggling there. Jamie Dorden's going to put the kick up on the five and last. Connor Holiday's looking to get on the chase. Just it was more trying to put his uh, Dan Abram off there rather than challenging up there was uh, was Connor Holiday, and it's going to be. Uh, Johnny Vaughan, the Joe Red man from St. Helens, England's Academy captain, Lancashire Academy captain, and very highly thought of at St. Helens, who's just come on the field to replace Lewis Hall there. But Swinton now looking to play this ball here. Roby's lining weight at dummy half. Comes across then to uh, Matty Crimes. Crimes is met by Jamie Doran and uh, Connor Holliday. Come down this short side once again, or looking to a Swinton, and it's Reese Williams. Slightly less crazy hair than the Afro he had a, he's, he had a couple of seasons ago at uh, at Swinton it was uh, he scored the trade Swinton it went viral on social media for looking like more Salah didn't he and it's, uh, yeah he's not looking he's, uh, not looking more Salah like these days of Reese Williams it is now the five and last good pressure put on that kick by Jamie Doran Jake Mason's going to be happy to allow that ball to bounce and it actually bounces in the hands of Joey Romeo to dive over the top of him and then it's going to be a penalty yeah coming in over all, over the top so dangerous well essentially a dangerous tackle uh, said there by uh, by referee Brad Milligan yeah, I think that's a harsh one from yeah, Brad. Yeah, me too. I don't think he's... he's Joey's fell down. <laughs> he can't. He's, he's committed to the tackle, he can't move. So I think they're just cracking down on too too much personally, Jordan, with, with the way that you know those ex-players have, have took the game into the, into the legal battle. Penalty kick has gone exactly on to, on to halfway. Joey Romeo just waiting for the ball to, to come towards him. The ball boys, making sure they don't put the ball on the ground, uh, so it's maybe not as slippy when the White Haven players are trying to get it back into touch there. But it does mean that White Haven fetching this ball forward. Now Evans was the man taken down. Newton then finds Dion Air. Looks to do his traditional step and shimmy mid-air. Dion Air looking to try and utilise a gap. Newton going to go across then to Jake Carter. Carter takes it to the line and then across to Guy Graham. Graham's going to be taken down, sort of 22 metres out here. Attacking the railway end in the second half here, our Whitehaven. Going left now to Carter, out the back then to Mason. Mason then looking to try and get back inside. I think we're very unlucky there, John. I think we are, yeah. I was just about to try and wait for the stoppage in play. Carter just back up on his feet, but he was taken down after the ball had went there. King then comes across to Guy Graham. King Graham, Graham, Graham put that ball down as he stopped, as he held up. He stopped just short of the line. Only oh, must be short of the line. It is the five and last. Oh, and it's got to be a penalty. Oh, no! Surely had to be a penalty, sir. No way that between the man was on side, but referee Brad Milligan just calls it as a clear. Or is it going to be a knock on from Swinton? Because he's asking the Whitehaven players, you know, he's just checking something here. Is he saying it's going to be a Swinton knock on from coming from the line? No, it's not. He's saying he's just going to play it there. Turnover ball. Yeah, you know, them calls in themselves. I don't know where he got lucky down here, and I think Swinton have got away with one there. So, yeah, he's. He's, he's probably got the call from his touch to Jordan but uh, we've just committed a high shot there that he hasn't seen which he's looking for those seven minutes gone in the second half he's still remains Whitehaven 6 Swinton 14 and Swinton man's gone without it there is Jaden Hatton and Whitehaven back on the front foot here is that what they need to get themselves back into this game Jamie Jordan nine and wait to dummy half it is zero tackle then come across to Dion Air gets it across to Guy Graham pitch is really really soft it's really cutting up it's, to be fair he's held up better than I thought he was going to after we seen after the warm up but Dion Air is going to need going to be taken down there in the shadows of the sticks going to then cross to Ryan King and King get his second of the afternoon or is he going to be held up it's gone backwards in the hands of James Newton 
James Hilton. That ball come off from Ryan King. Don't know how it's come out. Not bothered how it's come out. It's and landed in the hands of James Newton. Newton's got that ball down. Whitehaven scored their second of the afternoon. They reduced the deficit to four. 48 minutes gone. It's Haven 10. Lions 14. I think King's took that into collision there, Jordan. Tried to spin to get the ball down. And when he's when he's been going down, he's just threw it backwards. It just landed in the mud. Swinton have spun their arms off thinking he's knocked it on. And Newton just picked up and put it, plonked it down. Um, it's the start that Whitehaven wanted, you know, they've started this second half really well. Um, but yeah, Kingy, great play from Kingy and well done Newt, he reacted first, the quickest, you know, the Swinton coach, Alan Kilshaw, will not be happy with that, to be fair. Well, we said that, didn't we, obviously, when the uh, for the for when the ball hit the floor earlier on, when it come off, when McCallum's charge down, it was Swinton who reacted the quickest, it's Whitehaven on that occasion, Swinton would help to take advantage and go the 40 metres and score the try, Whitehaven didn't quite have to go 40 metres, maybe 0.4 metres, but still a four pointer yeah and John you'll take all them all day long and so with the team you know hopefully Jay Carter can slot this one over and, and get back to a two point ball game 14 nil Ash you felt I mean I know it's only early in the game but you felt with the conditions you felt it was going to be a struggle but Whitehaven's worked well to get back into the game and as Jay Carter does knock over the two points and reduce that deficit to, to 12 uh, to two points 12-14 in Lions favour it's, it's game back on yeah like I said Jordan if Whitehaven can force an error then they can build on the back of it and that's the first error of the game we've seen there from, from Jaden Hatton and it come from a great defensive effort from James Newton and, and Jamie Doran they pinged Hatton in his own 20 his cough possession up and why have, have punished them you know like we say all the time if you make teams make errors you punish them and we've had it done to us plenty of times and we've we've done it to uh, Swinton there game back underway here from the boot of Dan Abram Jamie Doran just wipes his hands on his shorts before collecting that ball and then finds Dion Air. That's a high tackle on Dion Air. Referee Brand Milligan just shakes his head. But you can and that then he's going to be a penalty. Yeah. I Do you feel that Brad Milligan maybe felt he should have given the high shot and then realised I'm going to give a penalty for something here? Yes. I think, but again I go back to this. Brad's one of these referees that he's an old school referee, he lets them tough it out. But he's not getting any help from his touch judges. The, two, the touches are too involved in watching the play of the ball. Watch what's going on in the tackles. Connor Holiday is going to be the run this ball forward. It's getting feisty out here at the Otis Reg. 50 minutes gone. It is Haven 12, Swinton 14. Ryan King going to run this ball forward here. And it just seems like Whitehaven have put their sleeves up in the second half. And we know we're in a contest. There's a lot more talk out there. Newton is nearly through there from dummy half. There's a lot more talk. Mason's involved in the attacking line. You can see he's pointing here, he's pointing there. He's trying to help out James Newton. Whitehaven know they need to and have done so far in this second half. King then looks to shape the dummy. You can tell Al Kilshaw's not happy because he's come from behind the sticks. He's now on the bench. <laughs> Newton in that dummy half going to go left into the hands of Carter back inside then to Jake Mason Mason's got around one got around two trying to find a gap has to take the tackle there to Jake Mason it is the five and last Newton in a dummy half right hand side of the post going to come to this right hand side come across to Guy Graham Guy Graham trying to power his way over from short range yet again I'm, I'm not unhappy with that I feel like trying to take the power play on you're turning the ball over two metres away from the Swinton line yeah I think in the build up Jordan I think it was the first tackle why haven't tried a penalty because George Roby took Guy Graham out off the ball just hit him there was no, Guy was nowhere near the ball just hit him off the ball Swinton looking to uh, going to have to go through the hard yards once again as a Swinton, who there'd be a couple of players who come off initially, so it would have been Mikey Wood and Noah Stevens coming back on to replace uh, Daniel Spencer Tonks and, and Matty Fletcher. So Alan Kilshaw saw that change he needed to make, and just saying, clearly this man in the York respect at the moment is Daniel uh, Dalton Desmond Walker. He's getting ready to come on to, to the pitch, he'll be fresh on there as well. Lockman Hannigan hasn't come to the field yet as well, but Swinton are continuing to fetch this ball forward. Dalton needs to be, be squeaky clean because he has got that, that penalty in him um, so we do need to keep Dalton he needs to be squeaky clean and I think when Hannigan comes on we'll maybe see Jamie Doran potentially go to nine, to nine yeah. and, and Lockie play half we'll wait and see when they are introduced and been looking to be in the next couple of minutes by the looks of it Swinton have got themselves just over the halfway line here with uh, through Jordan Gibson Abram's in at dummy half trying to go around does get around Guy Graham then go over seeing him do that in White Evanshire plenty of times he's one on one here with Jake Mason and he's slipped because uh, I tell you what if that was dry ground that was a Swinton Lions four pointer Swinton still have a couple of buckles, uh, tackles in the bank here going to come left into the hands of Jack Stevens. gets away from one just can't get away from Ryan King then going to be a penalty just waiting to see what the signal will be here from referee Brad Milligan is it going to be offside is it going to, what's it going to be Alan Kilshaw has just said take the two straight away 
high shot on. I'm not too sure on that, considering the one he didn't give on Dion Air about two minutes ago. But uh, Swinton have elected to go for goal, 52 and a half minutes on the clock. The only thing I could possibly say is give the high shot for Jordan is when Kingy's grabbed his collar as he's been going down, he's he's maybe caught him going down. But again, the going down, the, we talk about mitigating factors, but they don't seem to be taking them into consideration. <laughs> So Dan Abram's going to have an opportunity here to just to extend Swinton's lead 2-4 and it's going to be James Newton and Guy Graham that's left the field and they'll be replaced by Dalton, Desmond Walker and Lachlan Hannigan. So Whitehaven utilising the bench. Oh, Ashley, you want to say something there? Yeah, like I say, we were saying that we'll probably see Hannigan go into, into seven and Jamie Dolan go to nine and, you know, we need to um, keep Dalton squeaky clean. He has got a penalty in him, as you've seen when he played against us. So, you know, we just need to keep him keep him speaking clean just Dalton but he'll carry, he'll carry really well for us Dan Abram able to kick the convert the penalty goal so it is now Swinton 12 sorry Whitehaven 12 my apologies Swinton Lions 16 nothing really changes for, for Whitehaven out there carry on what you've been doing because you, you've had success in this second half so far yeah like you said Whitehaven have been good to be fair John I know we can see but they haven't fought, they haven't come with an error they haven't they've just been their own worst enemies with penalties like that one and and giving them away and, and just not reacting in time to stuff. Jordan Gibson collects the kick off quite close to the uh, touchline, just waiting to see if that ball had gone, but it was pinpointed uh, by perfection there too by Jake Carter. Now fetching this ball forward is was uh, Noah Stevens. Then Gunners comes across to uh, Matty Crimes in off the wing to take this ball forward for the Swinton side. Just heard that call from behind us, no penalties. So trying to put the pressure on here are uh, Whitehaven good to have there from Lachlan Hannigan come help complete there by uh, Will Evans come that down the short side once again that's just trying to find a gap here that's how you stop Gavin Rodden in his tracks <laughs> it's the fourth tackle it's uh, Hatton who come up with the area earlier on Robbie's going to scoop them dummy half and he's nearly through there he's George Robbie you mentioned earlier on that he's got that in his game he can be elusive so he played that one game for Whitehaven as you mentioned was he was it the 1895 Cup quarter final? Was it at uh, Featherston against Sheffield? That seems to ring a bell. I think it was at Halifax away in the league when we went with 15. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was one of them days as well. Uh, Whitehaven now have ball in hand. Curtis Tia. Uh, it was Jack Mason who collected it on the full from the kick. And Tia, and then it's going to be a penalty here to Whitehaven. Alan Kilshaw, not happy down below us. It's a very emotive coach, Alan Kilshaw, who, as you've seen him coach, or seen him anywhere, you'll know. He'll, he'll very happily give an opinion and very happily tell you what he's or show you how he's feeling and showed you you know maybe a bit of confusion that one is Lachlan Hannigan that's unlucky really unlucky there he's with Dan Abram he just tried to set himself and slipped in the mud otherwise he would have kept that ball in I'm going to say he would have I'm going to say otherwise he, oh yeah he bounced it's when he said it's bounced it's got yeah Yeah, what he's saying, it's bounced because he hasn't gone right in the touch on the penalty. They've got the can't take the quick tab as it would be. It's going to be a, essentially it's a it's a it's a, pl it's a it's a play of the ball in the middle of the field. Yeah. So yeah, yet again another slight change. It's coming to the rules in the last couple of years. That it's one of them that doesn't come up all too often. When it does, it sometimes confuses the player or two. Yeah, I don't understand what's happened there because the ball we've got the wind behind us. It sort of hung up in the wind, and Dan Abraham, like you say, was really unlucky because he just slipped. <laughs> what he was going to catch it great carriage more McCarran yeah McCarran taking this ball forward 22 metres out now with Whitehaven four points the deficit Jake Carter looking to and does offer it, offer it to Ryan King 57th minute BBC Radio Cumbria Sports Online Whitehaven 20 metres out Doran in there at dummy half so it looks that change has happened as you said Ash that uh, Doran to nine Hannigan and Carter to the half backs now yeah Jamie played nine on his debut for Wigan I believe in Super League yeah and against St Helens Hannigan played a lot in his junior rugby at nine as well did Jamie Doran so Hannigan's going to be the man that's taken down here he's the five and last just to the right hand side of the post Doran is going to be in waiting there at Dummy I'm going to put a little kick forward there it's come off the post left right yes Jack Carter yes no anyone goal line drop out <laughs> oh, nobody wanted to touch that no, down absolutely nobody the, 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 Jack Carter didn't want to touch it no you know the, the Swinton man didn't want to touch it eventually Swinton man has got the touch onto it and it's going to be a goal line drop out yeah I can, Lucas Castle looks like he's getting ready to come back on here Jordan he is so he'll be uh, be an asset in that final quarter we're just waiting for this goal line drop out to be taken it's a decent goal line drop out Hannigan traps it with his foot 40 metres out here comes then cross to Dion Air runs forward does the Papua New Guinean 
and gets it to the white here than 30. Hannigan in there at dummy half on this occasion. Six again. So an extra tackle for White Haven because that was tackle one. Dalton DDW. I'm going to, it's going to be too much of a mouthful saying his name all season. DDW. Dalton Desmond Walker. Make a note of that now. Plays the ball. It's going to be go to across to Ryan King. King's going to be the man to be taken down. Dorian in there at dummy half. It's going to, and it's going to be a penalty here. Offside of Sweeten. Two is no good. Two is no good. Or does he fairly want the two to reduce the deficit? No, Johnny Gawley sits, arms crossed. And Jamie Doran is going to look to take the tap here. Comes across, look to go himself there, he's Jamie Doran! Stop there, took four Switton Lions defenders to do so. Dion, go on your own. They won't stop Dion from there. No, they won't stop Dion here from there, but I don't feel he's going to go on his own. He's going to go left into the hands then of Jake Carter. Carter just looking for an option there, Jake Carter. Didn't have any left, didn't have any right. Just sort of stuck in that puddle as it is there, is Jake Carter. But to be fair, he's done well to get to the line, he's been held up. Doran going to come right to Ryan King. Ryan King then comes across to Lachlan Hannigan. Hannigan throws the dummy. Looking to come back on the inside. Josh Eves getting ready to come back on here for Swinton. Jamie Doran in a dummy half now. He's going to come look to go himself once again. He's going to be stopped there. He's Jamie Doran. Still a couple of tackles left in this set. Right hand side of the post. Five metres out. Hannigan in a dummy half now on this occasion. Comes across to DDW. He's going to be stopped. He's now the five and last just to the right hand side of the post. Does Jamie Doran look to go himself or does he look to throw the ball? He's going to look to throw the ball, comes across then to Jay Carter, Carter puts a little kick in. Well, oh, and it's going to be collected there on the full. And Swindon's going to be a good tackle there from Jay Carter to wrap the man up and put him down. Probably not the best option from Jay Carter. No, it wasn't a very good kick from Jake, which is unusual because he's usually got a really good kicking game. Alan Kilshaw's got his arms up complaining because Connor's tackled his player. I've got no idea what he's complaining for. All I can hear is ref come on. So we'll, we'll leave him to it, the Alan Kilshaw. But. Uh, Swinton's looking to fetch his ball forward. Crimes. He was back in at dummy half now. Reese Williams. He's going to be taken down here. Holiday and uh, Jamie Doran affecting the tackle. Then comes across to Noah Stevens. Big uh, meeting of minds there between uh, Noah Stevens and Desmond Walker. He's no longer the cleanest man in White Haven. He's DDW. It's going to be a spiral kick here. It's going to be allowed to bounce once again. Jack Mason gets there and then is going to make 12, 13, 14 metres there as Ryan King's the man to leave the field come through a big shift there as, uh, as Ryan King just on the hour mark now Lucas Castle is the man to replace him but Will Evans is going to be the man taken down just over the white haven 40 7 metres short of halfway Hannigan in there at dummy half comes into the hands now with Joey Romeo Romeo's taken down still short of halfway I think Noah Stevens is struggling there Jordan he's running around like he's got a bit of a concussion he's he looks like he's struggling when he's running back. Yeah, he does seem to be struggling. Maybe he doesn't know where he is at the moment there. Does uh, Noah Stevens been in there? Now it's now Dion Air. It's going to be taken down. Combination of uh, Mitch Cox and Josh Eves. It is going to be the five and last. He's going to go left into the hands of Carter. Carter's going to put the kick in. Abram's there and it's going to be called right into that puddle. And it's good work from Owen McCadden who just able to slow down Abram initially. And then it's going to be completed there. Who is that? could be he's at Lucas Castle so good work there from the Australian forwards just to trap Dan Abram exactly where he was and it's now Matty Crimes going to be taken down Evans is involved Connor Holiday was involved there as well but the main man was Lachlan Hannigan who was able to uh, able to complete that tackle Reese Williams is going to be the man taken here third tackle still inside their own 20 of Swinton penalty to Swinton ball is judged for being stripped Brad, Brad Redigan wasn't looking referee had to go look at his touch judge he was trying to sort something else there and the judge judge is a judge that to have been stripped yeah I'll, I'll be honest Jordan I, I watched that touch judge referee Carl's Negrament last week and he's not the best at amateur level so he's done well to get a gig and that's a horrendous gig thought it was coming to me there for just a second I wasn't touching that it's quite a muddy ball but uh, 61 and a half minutes on the clock here. BBC Radio Cumbria Sports Online. Haven 12, Swinton 16. Jaden Hatton takes the tap. And he's going to be man taken down just over halfway. Eves in there with dummy half. Want to come down the short side. Rod in six again. Mark is not square. That's Swinton's first six again of the game. Eves waiting in there at uh, dummy half now. And that's come again, come across to Noah Stevens, showing no, doesn't seem to be showing any, any ill effects now, maybe just needed to get some air back in the lungs, did the man from St. Helens. Yeah, I think it was that challenge from Dalton Desmond that, uh, <laughs> that took it out of him, it was a big collision as well. So it's gone into the uh, hands now with Johnny Vaughan, a young man again from St. Helens, England Academy captain, 
Eves going to come across and finds Mitch Cox. Cox is met there by Dion Air, slipped in the tackle as he did, so did Cox. Eves going to come left to Gibson. Gibson then comes out the back, a couple of pairs of hands, then Dan Abram. Not going to put the little kick in, and this should be. It's going to be ruled a knock on. It's already, already blew the whistle. If it's going to be a knock on, it can only be a knock on of the hands of Dan Abram. It's a harsh call if it is, because Dan had just jumped, jumped on the ball, but it's going to be uh, it's going to be a knock on. It's going to be a scrum down head and feed here to Whitehaven. I don't. Well, that Alan Kilshaw is asking <laughs> the same question I'm asking. You might have just picked it up down below. Is how is it a knock on? Actually, I don't think it was a knock on. Do you think it was a knock on? No, not at no, all. Not, not in the slightest. I've just got a feeling. I think I realise who Lewis Hall looks like, but I'll tell you off air who he looks like. <laughs> You do recognise him from his bad old days, though, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah I was yeah, going to say, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Right, OK, we'll, 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 we'll leave that there. We'll park that conversation. In the meanwhile, Whitehaven now fetching the ball through to Curtis' team. Yeah, it's... Um, uh, Kilshaw's complaining at the ref, but they got one down there. It swings him round, about to be yeah. You're going to get calls, you're not going to get calls. Just get on with it. Owen McCallan's now fetching the ball forward. 20, what, 26, 27 metres away from his own line. Fans complaining behind us, but saying it's six or one half a dozen the other. Jay Carter, he's potentially looking for a 40-20, not in these conditions, surely. To be fair, a dry pitch, he probably would have got that, but Dan Abram has had to go back, found some green grass there in Carter, but he's now fetching this ball forward, Is Abram. Puts it back inside to Matty Crimes. Dan Abram decided he wanted absolutely nothing at all to do with that. He's limping about. Dan Abram, Jordan, I think he's got an, an ankle knock from that tackle down there previously. Reese Williams is now the man to fetch his ball forward. Wrapped up, Holiday, Evans, Dion Air all involved. And it's going to be uh, taken down here. Swinton's 32 metres away from their own line. He's in a dummy half. Inside then to uh, Swinton Mann. It's going to be... Uh, Gavin Rodden, I think. Yeah, it could be Rodden. Ten short of halfway. Eves then comes across to... Uh, oh, is that, that's going to be a knock-on, yeah. Big hit. Who was involved? Was that Dion uh, Dalton Desmond. Dalton DDW. I just seen Dion sort of celebrating there, and I didn't know he put the shot in, but yeah, Joey Romeo comes over 40 yards to celebrate him, and just as Connor Holiday did to Lewis Hall earlier on, just sort of wipes his hands all over his that that head of his, and he's got more handprints on there now more than, than anything else. You, you could call Dalton Desmond what Kirky calls him, and Dalton Grant. <laughs> Completely different player. Completely, yeah. Well, well, no, I'm just going to we're calling it now. We're sticking with DDW. It's going to be easier to do it. Whitehaven now in the hands then of Jay Carter from the base of the scrum make it 15 minutes to go here at the Otters Rec BBC Radio Cumbia Sports Online Castle with the offload into the hands of McCadden McCadden trying to step inside there of Jordan Gibson 30 metres out here are Whitehaven 4 points to deficit going to come right then across to Dion Air back inside to DDW keeps his legs pumping does the Australian he's going to play this ball 22 metres out Jamie Doran comes from dummy half throws the dummy there does Jamie Doran He's going to be wrapped up, what, 12 metres out. He's a hard fella to bring down, isn't he, Jamie? He is. Dion Air's in there at dummy half. Comes right to Lachlan Hannigan. Hannigan looking to step back inside, gets away from one. He puts the step in, tries to get away from Johnny Vaughan. And he's taken down as well now is Lachlan Hannigan. Five and last. Five metres out. Calls left to Jake Carter. Carter going to put the look to kick towards the corner. Can he get there? Matty Crimes out, knock on. And Whitehaven got this ball down. It's going to be a knock on, but it's going to be a Whitehaven head and feed. Can't be, it can't be a Whitehaven knock on. It was in the hands of Matty Crimes, yeah. Yeah, he's going to be in the middle of the field here for Whitehaven. Going to be a scrum down. Whitehaven continuing to knock on the door there. Great challenge from Curtis Take. Yeah. We know Matty Crimes is like, he's a very good winger. He's Matty Crimes. Uh, nice kick from Jake. I thought he took the wrong option. I'd have went along the deck, but what do I know? <laughs> That's why you're not playing halfback. Yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not with your calf. That's a story. Yeah, we, um, me and Ashley's involved in a, a sort of local group that started in the last few weeks and picked up a muscle injury a few weeks back. But uh, balls in the hands now with Jake Mason. Mason's then going to be wrapped up, taken down. Evans in there at dummy half. Comes across then to Connor Holiday. Holiday's looking to just run forward. Got through a lot of work with Connor Holiday. Then going to be a penalty here at the White Devon. Ball's being stripped. So that's White Devon's tenth penalty. I think Connor just dropped that dead. I think that's a, a harsh call. Um, but, you know, Brad's close than us. He's obviously decided it was a strip. It's going to be an opportunity here for Whitehaven. We make it within the 68th minute. 12 to go as we make it here on BBC Radio Cumbria Sports Online. Doran's going to take the tap. DDW now fetches it forward. If you're catching him high, it's high. 
but referee Brad Milligan's happy to uh, to go for that six again however ball in the hands of Hannigan comes across to Will Evans Will Evans Will Evans just going to be taken down there he's the Welsh international two three metres short of the line Romeo looks to scoot and go from WF Joey Romeo gets his former side good Switton Lions defence keep him out Evans in there to dummy half now ball's going to go along the floor Hannigan's able to collect it but he's uh, pulled straight away Jamie Doran goes left to Lucas Castle Castle's just going to run it forward it's the Australian trying to get in under the sticks it's taken four Switton Lions defenders to stop him numbering up on that left hand side a white Irvin comes across Dion Air looking to try and come back inside there is Dion Air the mud really hampering White Evans efforts he failed at the moment it's going to be the five and last Doran looking to go Carter Carter's got to go over the top and it's way in Rayo Corkill in that left hand side corner ball over the top from Jay Carter Corkill gets his first league try in a White Irvin shirt scores are level just short of the hour mark BBC Radio Cumbria Sports Online it is White Irvin 16 Swinton Lions 16 yeah to be fair, Jordan, I thought Matty Crimes had shut the play down. He, he jammed in really well there, Matty Crimes for Swinton, but Jay Carter's managed just to tip the ball over his head. It's he, he dropped it in Rio's hands, and Rio's took it, took his try well. Um, tough kick for Carter in these conditions. Uh, how long's left, Joe? About 10, 10 minutes? We, I make it 11 to go. Uh, unfortunately, there's no scoreboard in operation here at the uh, at the Orchard Street this afternoon. James Newton's getting ready to come back onto the field, so only had what maybe 15 minutes there as as James Newton. Not quite sure who's going to be leaving the field, but uh, we'll soon find out. But Jake Carter's going to be the man to uh, line up the. Uh, I'd expect Ryan to come back on as well, Jordan. Well, we'll wait the last minutes. We'll wait and see. But Carter's going to be lining up the conversion attempt here, similar to where Dan Abram had it. Jamie Doran. Mm, Jamie Doran. Jamie's played really well today. He I has, like him at nine. Yeah. He's done a good stint there. And uh, as you said, I think Ryan King's getting ready to come back onto the field. So have you got Johnny in your ear or something? I know you've got him in your ear most of the time, but no, he, uh, he, he has mentioned a few things. Jay Carter pins it from the touchline. There's Jay Carter, Whitehaven lead for the first time Both in the ball. afternoon. Ten minutes to go here at the Autos Rec. It is Whitehaven 18, Swinton Lions 16, and he's put in a good stint as Dalton Desmond Walker, but he's the man to be replaced by Ryan King. King on, uh, King on um, James Newton on, Jamie Dorden off, Dalton Desmond Walker off. Whitehaven lead by two points. Yeah, I'm quite surprised he took Dalton off there. He's had a good stint as Dalton. He's, he, Noah Stevens, he's five yards offside from that kickoff. But it's going to be Ryan King meant to fetch his ball forward. Looking to get through some work here is the Italian international. What do Whitehaven need to do in this next 10 minutes, Ashley? What they've done for the past 60, 70 minutes, Jordan, just complete your sets, put your kicks in, defend well. You know, if you've noticed now, Swinton are trying to force that. They're going for the ball, they're hitting under the arms. Castle plays the ball, comes across then to Dion Air. Continues to keep his legs pumping, keeps his legs pumping, and keeps his legs pumping. Does the Papua New Guinean on his 200th career appearance. Then going to be uh, into the hands of James Newton. Newton's going to be wrapped up exactly on halfway. Mason's going to go left into the hands of Jake Carter. Gone for the early kick of Whitehaven. Matty Crimes is going to be the man underneath it. Good chase. McCallum involved. Dion Air involved. And it's McCallum that meets him. Dion Air doesn't get involved. Just puts his hands up straight away and says, I'm not touching him, sir. Abram in there at dummy half. Scoots. George Robbie's coming back onto the field to it and going to look to be playing with two two hookers out there in the next ten, last final ten minutes yeah You'll probably see Josh Eves go out of 13 like he has done before or go into the halves and, and maybe one of the half step up into the 13 role potentially because is that, is that not uh, young uh, young Jack Stevens? no it's Mitch Cox so that's his second rower so there's going to be a little bit of a change round out there for Swinton Robbie is the man in there at uh, a dummy half on this occasion gets away from uh, Lucas Castle he's not going to get away from Connor Holiday and Dion Air though however it is the five and last now in Whitehaven territory 40 metres out Abram's going to go right into the hands end of Jordan Gibson Gibson's going to put the kick up it's hanging up in the air and it's collected there by Curtis Teer he's done well there to Curtis Teer to then stay in the field of play as well he's, it hasn't been stopped there does Curtis Teer referee Brad Milligan wave play on and Curtis Teer has made an extra 12-13 metres I think that's a very harsh call on Swinton there. He, he, he was he was stopped there, Curtis. But Swinton an absolute mile offside. Josh Eves was about four yards offside, and then he missed the tackle, which and, will be yeah. a killer for Alan Kilshaw. A killer for killer. Yeah, that is his nickname, of course. Um, so it's going to be Joey Romeo to then fetch this ball forward. 
it's become really it's become more and more feisty as the game's gone on and I don't mean feisty in a bad way it's just both sides know there's something off that is high then on James Newton referee Brad Milligan waves it away I don't think it was I think he got the ball there amazing dummy half goes left to King King's going to just continue to pump his legs forward Whitehaven 28 metres out here it is the five and last Newton in it dummy half it's going to come right to Lachlan Hannigan Hannigan's going to put the kick towards the corner Romeo's just going to have to try and keep that in the field of play knocks it forward instead so it's just going to come back for the uh, well, initially you know, you're going to come back for the no advantage it's going to be a turnover ball John D is absolutely fuming there with that kick and what Joey done but Joey said he'd gone out on the full <laughs> What, 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 what's the bit? I mean, in the in the grand scheme of things, it's 10 metres, but that could be the, ten, the difference 10 metres makes whether you go out on the full and it comes back to where Hannigan kicks it or you play the ball from there. So, to be fair, I think Joey Romeo's probably done the better of the two evils there. Dion's very, very lucky there. I thought he caught the man high. The man's being pushed back. It is Jaden Hutton. Roby in there at dummy half. Josh Eves now. It's become a bit hair and scared him. Six and a half minutes to go. Two points. The advantage to Whitehaven. And this is what Swinton can do, John. When they throw the ball out, they are a dangerous, dangerous side when they're throwing and just playing off the cuff stuff. Noah Stevens is going to be the man that's taken down. Five short of halfway. Still a couple of tackles left in the bank. He's going to scoot from dummy half. McCadden then is going to be the man to wrap him up. That should have been a penalty to Wyvern as well because uh, Noah Stevens pushed Jay Carter out the way from the play of the ball. That's why there wasn't a marker there. Comes across, a couple of pairs of hands. Then comes across then to Gavin Rodden. Rodden's going to be the man that's taken down. It is the five and last, 38 metres out from the... Swinton line here sorry the Whitehaven line Gibson's going to put the kick in looking to find put some pressure on Curtis Tia once again very well taken by Curtis Tia for the Swinton defenders now there just to wrap him up Whitehaven player these 20 metres out Carter does well to come up from dummy half I seen Alan Kilshaw there saying kick to this side to Joey Romeo well, I wonder why <laughs> oh that's high and it's going to be the penalty that Whitehaven need is it on Rio Corkill good take there from Corkill we've seen he doesn't mind getting going through the hard work playing back in the last season in the middle for Barrow so quite happy to come into the middle and take that ball forward and he's got his rewards there because he's been caught high and worked his side a penalty yeah Mikey Woods caught him high you know Rio's a tough kid he, he's come through the same system as well and so like you say he played middle for Barrow up here again, so he, he did on, on that Monday night yeah he did he come off the bench and a couple of times he played in the middle for, for Paul Crady's side towards the back end of last season. Corkill takes the tap. Owen McCarron. He's going to be the man that's game, taken bro. down. He has. My man of the match, if I'm being honest. He's, he's gone through a lot of work as Owen McCarron. Then uh, Lucas Castle. Nothing daft here from White Term, and you just need to complete your set. If you get an opportunity, look to take it, but it's all about game management now. Four and a half minutes left on the clock as we make it. Newton going to come right into the hands of King. King. Throws a dummy nearly through there. He's King. Eventually going to be taken down by George Roby. Newton in there at dummy half. It's going to go left into the hands of Dion Air. Tries to step back inside. Does does Dion Air, but taken down. Is it 15 minutes? Uh, drop goal. Not in these conditions, surely. Lucas Castle. Lucas Castle. Oh, he's just stopped there. He's the Australian. He's the five and last. Newton. It's going to go left or right. He's shaping to go left. He's going to try and go to the scalp there. He's James Newton. And it's just going to be held up there. He's James Newton, so it's going to be a handover ball here. Yet again, not the worst decision in the world when you're that close to the line, but it's that muddy as well. Four minutes to go as we make it. Clock is stopped. Yeah, strange one there from Newt. Is it the worst place to turn the ball over? No, but you could have potentially got another reset, set, uh, a set, re a set again from a kick. Four minutes to go as we make it. BBC Radio Cumbria Sports Online. Swinton man's taken down Ryan King. Roby's in there at dummy half looking to try and swing it here to the early going good work there from Lachlan Hannigan who got the tackle there on Jaden Hatton scoop from dummy half now and it's three white Haven defenders that stopped the Swinton man there King, Castle and Dion Air all involved going to go right into the hands of from dummy half to Josh Eaves Newton, McCarron and Castle all involved there and done well to push Josh Eaves back sort of five metres there back onto his own 20 where whichever side gets the victory, whichever it's been really being well earned here this afternoon, but the ball's swung right. It's going to be Swinton there that's pinned back. Great, fantastic white team defence in this set. Kip White, Swinton, she pretty much in their own 30. McCadden puts pressure on. He's going to give the penalty here, just Brandon again, is he? No, because he'd give it by now. It's come back now with Stevens. Stevens is then going to put the kick in. Mason's going to have to run back, and that should find some, does find touch there, so. 
best first kick wasn't the best because there was pressure put on by McCann but Swinton were able to collect and just realise the better option is to kick it forward yeah oh, no Stevens put a better kick in than Jordan Gibson to be fair it wasn't a bad kick for a front rower it certainly wasn't the expression considering as he, what he, uh, Paul Wellen said he's revoked Alex Warms his kicking licence he wants to put a kick in the other day and said yeah as, as, as a prop forward he hasn't got that licence I didn't know he had that licence he's now got it revoked but to be fair to young Noah Stevens he, it was the better kick there yeah it, it was um a strange set from Swinton it, White even defended really well again the, the, the numbered up and that push back on uh, Josh Eves really helped White even out you know they took him back 5-10 metres and the rain is absolutely teeming down now so Tia was the man that managed to get out of the tackle here and he's able to make sort of an extra 5 or 6 metres Joey Romeo's the man now Petons fall forward never a penalty never a penalty Joey Romeo's milk one there for his side that was never a penalty he just threw his head back in the tackle and was able to get the penalty near fair to Joey you, you try it and the referee fails at it's high you, he's give it and, but uh, Whitehaven able to uh, get the penalty there and they just need to try and end this set here we make it a minute 45 to go here at the Otis record is Whitehaven 18 Swinton line 16 BBC Radio Cumbria Sport online that's just stupidity from Jack Stevens kicking a ball away it was the yeah it was the one that, it wasn't the one that was on the mark it had come back off the roof so it wasn't uh, not as bad a decision as you thought it might have been but Whitehaven now fetching this ball forward Holiday is going to be the man to play the ball slowly Newton lining way to dummy half it's going to go across to Ryan King King just keep holding himself me through there he's Ryan King drops the ball however Swinton are going to have an opportunity here I make it around about 70 seconds to go this could be the final set of the game I'm going to have a stoppage in player and that is Whitehaven's first error yeah from, from what I can remember just going to check my colleague from Swinton how long have you make it left you make it one I make it one so we're pretty much in the same ballpark yeah Alan Kilshaw's had that word as well that it is a minute to go so we're definitely not that far away on the clock that's, that we've got here in front of us as well Whitehaven 18 Swinton line 16 BBC Radio Cumbria Sports Online Championship opening weekend Ryan King is the man struggling there maybe with a bit of cramp there for the Italian international he's gone through a lot of work in sort of the last uh, in this and he's uh, just I think there's a penalty coming here you think there's a penalty coming here I just think the touch are just having a word yeah I think well, one of the touch has come over and had a word I don't know what for don't know what's happened i about to find out Josh Eves was thrown to the floor or moved away from Ryan King when he was down I think there's a penalty against Whitehaven coming here no, no. scrum down head and fade clock is back on so bear in mind this, this minute is now live the clock, the clock was waved back on this minute is live we make it 50 seconds now here at the Otis Rec sweet I'm just going to throw this ball around here Jordan clock stopped we make it 46 seconds to go BBC Radio Cumbria Sport online clock is back on that's a penalty that's a penalty it is a penalty should have been a penalty Swinton's going right Dan Abram Abram looks a step back inside knocks on there just Dan Abram it's in the hands Fair then on, and it should be a knock on it's going to be a scrum down this should be it should be all over here why do even celebrate like it's Owen all over Karen has come up with an absolute blinder there because Matty Crimes was in down that wing 40 seconds I've just seen it mouthed by Gadda Fewer and we're going to be game on he hasn't stopped the clock George Roby and Josh Hayes have started this James Newton has lost his head Ryan King's lost his head he still hasn't stopped the clock yeah, yeah. as he stopped the clock so I didn't see that but we've got a few who's behind us as the timekeeper something has gone on here with Josh Eves George Roby Ryan King and James Newton be interesting to see the clock was stopped once again in case he hadn't stopped it by referee Brad Milligan a rate and round about 40 seconds to go I don't know what went on Ashley Kilpatrick didn't see what went on something went on because I tell you what Jaden Hatton had to be pulled back otherwise he was throwing haymakers all I seen there Jordan was James Newton ran 20 metres to try and get to George Roby and Joey Roby had to split them get in between them and move Roby away well that makes a change because we've seen Joey Romeo be, Joey Romeo be the instigator in the last couple of weeks it's good to see that he's trying to keep his teammates heads calm I, I didn't see what went on we feel like this should be game over because like you say Omar McCarran put in some fantastic work to be able to force the error there from Dan Abram but there could be a penalty here there could be anything 
and as far as we see it we still don't know what's going on referee Brad Milligan having a word with, either, with both of the touch judges I think you might see some cards here Jordan <laughs> well, I, 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 did we see any punches no I don't think there's any punches I don't think there's so any think punches I think just for yeah who's is it getting called out King Ryan King King's going to see is it red or yellow is it red or yellow yellow so Whitehaven down to 12 I think George, George Roby sees it as well and another uh, Josh Eves. Josh Eves as well. All in Simbin. While there was wasn't a punch thrown, you'd imagine it'll be for fighting. The fact that Ryan King, however, was the man that was first called out. Oh, George oh, Robbie. Robbie. Ryan King just offered a hand out there and sort of with that. And he's going to try and have a word here. This reminds me of, there we go. He's just saying, now, yeah, stop, stop being silly. Joey Romeo's actually following him over to say, stop being silly. And just having a little smile there. The fact that King was pulled out first, however, tells me that he's going to be a penalty. It's going to be a Swinton penalty because that normally happens at the, the the sort of offending team initially at the side that's pulled out first. So James Newton's being the man that's being pulled out. It's Whitehaven with 12 men. James Newton's seeing a lead. So we're 11 versus 11 here. And to be honest, I didn't see an awful lot in it. Like you said, there was definitely something that went on. 100% and we might have to watch back on the video to see if it shows it on there and they still haven't words here is referee Brad Milligan we could see some more cards I think you said which way it's going here well it? sorry I think you're saying it's, it should be a white even scrum scrum down yeah so after all that scrum down head and feet so Alan, Alan Kilshaw is absolutely acoplectic the Hooter sound full time here at the Autos Rec it's white even 18 Swinton line 16 Haven come back from 14 points down and Joey Romeo celebrates against his former side we didn't see what went on both sides finished with 11 men each it didn't make a difference but Haven have come back it was 14-6 at the break to the Swinton side tries from Newton and Corkill Abram put the uh, put the penalty in there as well but it is a real Corkill try 11 minutes from time and a fantastic Jay Carter conversion that has given Whitehaven the opening two points points here in a game that at one point they were 14 nil down it's full time here at the Autos Rec BBC Radio Cumbria Sport Online Whitehaven 18 Swinton Lions 16 yeah it's a 